How's the week going so far? Always a good question to kind of pause halfway through, see how things are going. But also, I wanted to share a couple of things with you with regards to definition. So definition determines action. And maybe as we think about this and as you think about this after this broadcast that you can make certain changes that would really make the rest of the week better and the weeks ahead, either for you, for your team or for both. So just pause with me for a moment as we stop and have lunch. Let me define definition uh, as per the dictionary. A couple of different definitions, but I'll I'll share one first and then elaborate a bit and then give you the second one afterwards. So the first one is the degree to which something can be clearly seen or heard. I saw a really good diagram earlier in the week with regards to um, definition, collaboration, that kind of thing. So let me explain it to you very briefly. It was a picture of an elephant and there were several blind men at different points around this elephant just touching a little bit to try and work out what it was that was in front of them. So the guy that had the tail, he's thinking, ah, oh, that's a rope. There's another guy, he's kind of touching the leg and he's thinking, that's a tree. Another guy, he's just touching the, the point of the tusk and he's thinking, oh, that's a spear. And then another guy, he's got the trunk and he's thinking, hmm, that's a snake. Now, being outside of that, looking in, we can see that none of them actually defined what they had in front of them well. They only saw part of it. And the point that the diagram was making was, even though we can be experts and very experienced in a certain thing, when we're trying to tackle something bigger than ourselves, like a, a complex problem, there's benefit in collaborating with other team members, bringing other people in, get other perspectives, because we don't necessarily see the big picture. If they all collaborated on what they thought they saw, maybe together they'd realize that they had an elephant in front of them. So definition can be important from that element. The second definition of definition that I wanted to share with you is the act of defining or of making something definite, distinct or clear. So think about it for a minute. Definition determines action. So what is it that we are defining as important in our lives? What are we heading towards? What are the actions that we're taking because we want to get somewhere? So say, for example, you would define happiness a certain way. Maybe it's different to how I would define it. It doesn't mean either of us are wrong. But if we've got a slightly crooked or obscure version, definition of what happiness actually is, when we reach the the state, the location, whatever it is, how we define it, and realize, ah, actually, maybe this is I'm not feeling quite as happy as I thought I would. It could be that maybe what we've defined is, is slightly inaccurate. So how we define things is really important. Another part of that would be we could picture something that's really scary or we could think, yeah, not interested, don't want to go there at all and we can shy away from it. Maybe there's value to doing that. Not everything that's fearful is necessarily a good thing for us to overcome, but maybe the fact that we're defining it as something scary is actually hindering us because we're taking actions to avoid it. It's hindering us from discovering something new or growing in a certain area, overcoming the comfort zone, the terror barrier, whatever it is that tries to keep us safe. So how we define things that are potentially bad can also have a positive or negative effect on us. So there's, there's great benefit in just pausing for a few moments every now and again, maybe get a friend or close colleague or even a coach. I mean, I would say that, wouldn't I? But someone around you that you can just kind of check in on definitions of certain things that you hold as valuable and important and also Define them by all means because we need clarity. But always have that element of being open for change. Like we're always learning something new. Our perspective on things changes as we grow, changes as we learn something new. So how we currently define something now may well be different next week, next month. 
so that's worth thinking about so that can benefit our personal lives and our professional lives another element from a professional perspective for those people that you lead your team your staff whoever it might be have you defined clearly to them their role within the team within the organization their responsibilities if they've got the boundaries that you've set clear if they understand them if they've been defined then they can operate in a lot of autonomy a lot of freedom within those boundaries they know where they are they know where they stand they also know where their colleagues responsibilities lie so if this is not my area of expertise I can talk to my colleague who is responsible and skilled in that area so getting clarity on how we define things in a work environment or any any other area where we lead is key as well so pick a few things over the coming days weeks just check in am am I defining it well do I need to change it what actions am I taking that's getting me towards it are they still accurate if I change the definition I may well have to change some actions it doesn't have to be a scary thing it can be a, a really helpful way of growing uh, it can unlock new adventures it can unlock new learning skills learning paths that you can go down and can help with not only today but as i said the weeks ahead so that was all i wanted to share with you today hopefully something to mull over as you have your lunch and i would say enjoy the rest of the week i trust it goes well whatever your endeavors might be and i'm going to catch you on the next one thanks very much bye for now